Kitty, kitty, where are you? Hey, Sammy, have you seen Fluffy? I can't find him anywhere. Yep, that's because I gave him to Raj. What do you mean you gave him? Ever since I saw that cartoon cat, I can't stop thinking, what if Fluffy turns into him? Please, Sammy, not again. There is no cartoon cat. It's just a product of your imagination. That's easy for you to say. You're not afraid of anything. Right now, I'm really scared for Roger because Fluffy doesn't like being in a strange place. How about this? You bring our cat back and I'll fetch everything for a new craft. <sighs> All right. Hey, ugh, Fluffy, I said I'm sorry. Oh, hi, guys. Are you also not afraid of Cartoon Cat? Well, we have the most fearless and coolest viewers in the world. And today, we are going to impress you guys with a very simple yet astonishing craft. What's with the doll? She's gonna become a Cartoon Cat. Oh, my feta! And we'll start by getting rid of her hair. Because, you know, Cartoon Cat doesn't have a hairdo. Be careful with the scissors, guys. Watch your fingers. Actually, it's not our first doll makeover. Browse our channel to see more videos about that. And also subscribe. And if you already watched those videos, you know that sometimes we have to do this to make things work. Next thing, we need the tweezers. This way we'll make her head really smooth. You gotta be very careful at this stage and try not to damage the doll's head. Uh-oh. Very funny, Susan. Very funny. <laughs> Sorry, Sammy. Anyway, our next step is to wipe off the doll's makeup. So, a cotton sponge and a few drops of acetone should close the deal. Here we go. This way. Ew! <coughs> What's that smell? Ugh, I'd say you'd better work in a well-ventilated room while doing that. <coughs> And a couple of smooth touches, like this. And this is what you should get at this stage, guys. It looks like we're done here to me! The doll is already scary enough! <laughs> oh, Sammy, stop it. He's just joking, guys. What we're gonna do next is to make a rather big cut over here to make… <gasps> His frightful mouth! And then he's gonna eat me! Ah, so that is what Cartoon Cat actually does to its prey. Be careful here and don't cut too much, guys! Also, don't cut your fingers or better ask an adult to help. Even its creator, Trevor Henderson himself avoids answering questions about Cartoon Cat. All that is known for sure is that Cartoon Cat is the most dangerous of all monsters. Even his fellow unnerving creatures prefer not to meet him in person. Sammy, I thought you went for the air clay. Come on, our craft is waiting. All right, don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be back soon. Okay, guys, now we need to give our headpiece a proper cat face shape. Air clay is a perfect material to do so, so we'll just take a piece of it and spread it all over the doll's chin. Meow, don't forget to smooth everything properly. <laughs> Sammy, did you finally embrace the spirit of our craft? I was trying to butter up Fluffy and play with him, but he's still mad at me for what I did. Well, of course! You hurt his feelings when you gave him away! Guys, you should never do this to your pets. Oh, you're right! <gasps> Ooh, maybe I should give him his cat treats? In the meantime, we're done. Let's leave this whole thing aside for a bit to let the clay settle. And we'll sew a bit. Cartoon Cat is black, but we won't be painting tonight. Did somebody say painting? I am so ready for this! No, Sammy, but thanks for the pencil! It will help us outline our template on a piece of stretchy fabric. Now we'll magically cut it out! Whoosh! And multiply it by two! Wow! So cool! Ah, I see where this is going! It's sewing time! Very good, Sammy! Sure! Guys, try to make even stitches. And don't come close to the edge of this piece with your needles. Go on, Sue! And don't forget that you should always sew with your fabrics inside out! That's right! I've left a space here so that I'll be able to do this. Sammy, how's our doll's head doing back there? And I think it's ready for the next stage, Sue! Awesome! Yeah! Then we can put it inside our fabric piece, and this step will be completed. Uh, no, no, Sue, it won't! He still has no face! I mean, muzzle, or whatever 
are he supposed to have? Sammy, you're getting ahead of yourself as always. Give me a minute. Guys, be careful at this stage and don't let your fabric come apart. Here we go. You can even use a tiny bit of glue to make your cartoon cat's mouth stay even. But what about his big gums that are normally visible from afar? Little strips of red air clay will solve this problem. Check this out! <laughs> now he looks like he's getting ready for a photo shoot! Smile! I'm gonna get these developed! <laughs> but for a perfect smile, he's totally missing some teeth. Let's start gluing them one by one. Hop! Sugar meat shooters! Those teeth are crooked! No more sweets for that young man! I think the teeth look great. You better take care of yours, mister! This is his cat nose also made out of foam paper. And a couple of big eyes. Which to me, don't look scary at all! That's because Cartoon Cat Monster is kinda of based on an actual cartoon character from the 1930s! And cats in cartoons are defo supposed to have kind eyes. A finishing touch? And done! Guys, it seems like Susie decided to take a break from our craft! Look! She's playing with dolls! <laughs> Looks fun! <laughs> Er, uh, Susie, did you forget that we haven't finished our cartoon cat yet? Nope. I want this old Ken doll's body to have its new life as a part of our craft. Interesting. But Sue, cartoon cat should have really long arms. And he will. We're going to make them from this bendy wire. We just need to fold it in half like this. And then twist it properly. This way. All the way through the length of this wire piece. Guys, we've already made a couple of crafts devoted to Cartoon Cat. You should defo check them out on our channel! And that's it! Now let's put this piece in its place in the craft like this. And add a couple of pipe cleaners just to make the arms of our character a bit thicker. By the way, you can find those pipe cleaners in the nearest craft store. Just ask your parents to get you some. Yeah, and also be very careful at this stage so you don't poke yourselves with it. All we've left to do is dress this body up. And whoosh! You can ask your parents to help you with the sewing part. Interesting! Aren't we going to sew his white gloves as well? Actually, it'll be much easier to make them from air clay. We'll make a few cuts just like this, but be very careful with the cutter, guys. I think it's high time to upgrade it! As soon as the air clay dries out, we'll use a black marker to make a few adjustments here. This way it'll look more real and… mmm… cartoonish! <laughs> here comes the right hand… And the left one… <laughs> and the head, of course! Awesome! Holy cannoli! Guys, I had no idea our craft would turn out that great! Do you want to check it out with me? Let's do this! about? Me and my new best pal, Cartoon Cat, of course! He also wants to watch that 1930s cartoon with us! <laughs> I'm glad you finally overcame that fear of yours! Wait, wait, Susie! Why do I smell cheese? That's because I thought it's time to get rid of your cheese phobia! Ah! No! 
sure it's not. <laughs> anyway, guys, did you like our craft today? Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye!